Hello guys, welcome back. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about how can you work and commit your files to Git. And by the end of this lecture, you are going to have a clear understanding of the ways in which you can do this with PyCharm. So let's get started. So I have this project open called PyCharm course and I have already initialized a Git repo. Now on the left hand side, you will see all the files in the project tool window and here you will see a color scheme. Okay. You can see all the files are marked in red. Now what this means is these files are not yet added to Git. So red means these files does not exist in Git. So in order to commit these files, you need to add them first to the Git. In order to add this file to Git, you need to right click, you need to select Git and you need to click on add over here. You can also make a note of the shortcut here. So this is a shortcut for Mac. If you are using Windows or Linux, you will see the corresponding shortcut appear over here. So I'll just hit add and this file is now added to my Git staging area. Okay. And you can see that the color of this file is now green, which means that this file is being added to version control. And you can see the rest of the files are in red color. So now since we have added this file onto our version control, how do we commit? So you can see some options over here besides this Git label. You can see you have update project, you have commit, you have push. So if you click on commit, you will see the commit window appear over here. You can also commit by clicking on Git and selecting this option. So if I press commit, you will see a window appear over here like this. And the shortcut for Windows and Linux is control key. So I am in this commit window here, which I'm seeing. Now here you can see the files that you are committing. Okay. If you see this option unversioned files, so we have 644 files that are not yet added to Git. Okay. So we have just selected one file over here. It's by default selected because that's the file we added to the version control. Now, if I expand this, you can see the list of all the files. Okay. All the files you're seeing over here. So I'll just hide this for a while. Okay. So that it looks cleaner. You have some options here. Okay. So you have this amend commit checkbox and beside this, you have some commit options. So these are the options that you can select uh, before committing. So you can enter the author. Okay. So I can enter the author as Faisal. Okay. So this author will be passed on as the commit author. Then you have some options like reformat code. So if your code is not formatted, it will reformat it. And uh, then you have uh, options to optimize imports. So optimize imports means that uh, if there are some unused import in the file, what PyCharm will do is it will remove the unused imports first and then it will do the commit. So you can select this option if you want to do this. So in order to commit, I'll just write some commit message over here. So this is a text area wherein you need to add the commit message. So I'll say first commit. And here you can see first commit is by Faisal and this is the author that we just added. Okay. You can hit commit right now. The moment I hit commit, you can see, okay, we see a failure over here. Okay. So I'll just click on this. Okay. Author Faisal is not a name and matches no existing author. Okay. So this author is not configured yet. So I'll just remove the author so that the commit goes through. Okay. So I'll just commit this. So I'll just hit commit now and you can see commit is done. Okay. And you have an option over here besides this to commit and push as well. So if you want to directly commit and also you want to push the changes together onto the Git server, you can do that using this option. You can go to this Git tab over here, right? And you can see the first commit that we made over here and also on the right hand side in the Spain, you can see what all we committed over here. 
right and you can see facile memon coming up over here so this name is actually configured okay i entered facile and that's the reason why we got that error and this is the commit hash okay so if you are familiar with git you will know what a commit hash is so commit hash is a unique value that is generated for every commit that you do and it is used to identify this particular commit so this is the log basically of the git okay you can also click on the console and you can see logs over here okay so you can see we just did a commit called first commit and you see one file has changed okay and there have been five insertions and these are some messages that you are seeing right so this is how you can commit on git okay i'll just hide this i'll also hide this i'll just go to project okay so you can see uh, once we are done committing you can see this file turned to black so if you add a file so let me add this file over here so i added this file function return you can see these files are red because they have not yet been added to git they are untracked yet this file is added to the version control the one in green and the one in black is committed okay so basically there is no change in that file whatsoever now what i'll do is i'll go to functions.py and i'll add a function over here so i'll say def okay now the moment i pressed enter over here in this particular file we saw a green line over here okay so as i make any changes to this file so i'm just pressing enter right now and you can see this green line has come up now see so all the changes you can see okay so what pycharm is telling us is that these changes have already been committed and the one with this green bar have been recently changed and have not been committed okay so i'll just create a function over here print hello so this function is created and you can see this green bar which is telling me that these are the changes that i have done right now now what you can do is you can also right click over here okay and you can select annotate now the moment you select this you will see that who is the author so basically you will see the author against every author and the time basically so today i have added this okay you will see who has made this particular change so if you are working with a team okay you will get to know like who has changed or who has added this lines of codes okay and you can click on any of these and you can get the code at that particular point of time right so you can see we are seeing the code at that particular point when this was added right so i'll just close this i'll just close this and i'll just close annotations so after adding this one function what i'll do is i'll again go ahead and i'll commit so i'll click on this and you can see this window so functions.py okay this is the file wherein we have added a change okay so i'll just close this i'll show you what i just did over here so right now i have made a change okay i'm seeing this option over here wherein it's asking me that you are committing functions.py and function return.py so let's say i want to see what are the changes that are being committed to functions.py so i'll just double click on this and you can see here on the right hand side a pop up or you can see a window opened up in the editor and it's showing me the difference actually so these were the changes that were there earlier right which were committed and these are the changes that i have added right now and you can see these highlighted in green now let's say while committing i decide that i don't want to commit these changes or i want to undo this so right from here i have an option to revert these changes so if i click on this button over here okay this file will come over here and all the changes will be discarded okay so i want to do that okay you can explore some options here at the top so you can see side by side viewer and then you have a unified viewer right 
So these are just the different viewing options that you have. So I'll select side by side. Okay, you have some options over here as well. Okay, what is that you want to highlight? So you can select from these options, right? And I cannot even close this from here, right? I'm done seeing changes. And this is a file that I'm newly committing basically. So this entire file will be green because this is being added to kit for the first time, right? And what I can do is I can write my commit message here. So I'll write second commit, right? And I can press in commit or I can say commit and push. So I'll just press commit. You can see two files were committed. So the commit was successful. I can click over here and this is a console that I'm seeing. Okay. I can go to log and I can see two commits here. So this was the first commit. This is the second one, right? And here you can see functions.py and functions return.py. So I can click on functions.py and I can see what is the change that I made in this particular commit. And you can see this change appear like this over here. And I can also click on function return.py. And since this was a newly added file, you're seeing this entirely green, right? So this is how you can uh, commit from PyCharm. And PyCharm has a very good integration with uh, Kit or version control system, I can say. And it makes the life of developer very, very easy. So if you are using PyCharm for your Python projects, you must have noticed that you don't need an external Git tool. Okay, so there are lots of Git tools or tools that enable you to work with Git. So tools like source tree. Okay, so I've used source tree uh, personally. And uh, if you're using PyCharm, like you have everything here in the ID, right? And you don't need an external tool basically to work with Git. So this is the power of PyCharm and this is a powerful integration that it offers for developers because Git or version control is a very important piece when it comes to development and it makes our lives easier as developers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class and found it valuable. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.